McGee. Hi, TJ. Well, hello there, Laura. How are you today on this kind of a soggy day in Nashville, isn't it? I'm doing very well. The weather reminds me of my homeland of Scotland. Does it now? <laughs> <laughs> now, is that good or bad? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's bad, though. Okay. Well, well you know, we, we, we complain about the weather here a lot, too, you know. Yeah, because, I prefer and, and we don't normal. like this stuff. You know, we got spoiled. 82 degrees last week, and now oh, it's cold happened? again. You When's know? it going to get warm again? I notice the next few days are going to oh, be cold. Probably December. Oh, we'll, do <laughs> <laughs> we'll just miss the summer. We'll skip the whole summer. No. no It'll be soon. Soon. Yeah, it's it's oh, listen, thunder and all that going on around. Wow. And you can see, you were looking outside the window, you see the horses out there. Yeah, right? it's there's amazing. Horses out there. Really Mr. Out there. Ed's out out there, we're over, <laughs> yeah, and all that. Okay, let's go. Cool. All right, Laura McGee. She's a uh, she's a gifted young Scottish singer, songwriter, fiddler, guitarist, and, and um, raised on Celtic. Celtic. There we go. Roots, folk, and country. How about that? And you first uh, hit American the scene here when uh, you were performing with Pete Seeger in New York. That's right. That was a few years ago, but that was kind of my first big gig. Actually, the first time I ever performed in America, and it was with Pete Seeger. And it was for a Matt McGinn tribute concert. Matt McGinn's a famous uh, songwriter, singer from mm -hmm. Glasgow. Mm -hmm. So we came over, a whole host of us, a whole group. You know, it was one yeah. of these nights where everyone goes up and does like two or three songs of... Matt McGinn and Matt and Pete used to perform together so Pete Seeger was very very enthusiastic about being a part of the show wow so that was amazing that must have how did you feel at that time when that wall was happening what was going through your mind like I hope I don't forget the lyrics I think I was yeah I was I was fairly young and I was quite like in awe of the whole experience yeah and uh I was quite nervous, but in a good way. It was a big buzz, you know, to play on. I was on Broadway, so it was like this, yeah. this big thing. It was part of the Scottish festival as well. So, and Capra Cayley, which are a, a big band in Scotland, were over too. So it was a really fantastic lineup. Yeah, that, 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 cool. that, that's cool. That's very neat. <laughs> and you've performed with some some pretty neat people here, like Odetta and. Um, Ricky Skaggs, Jim Lauderdale, The Prog, mm -hmm. I guess it is, and Shane, uh, I'm sorry, Shane, Shane McGowan, McGowan yeah. and the uh, Oscar Brand, Ian Hunter, Josh White, <laughs> and uh, I mean, the list goes You on. forget, you've done all these <laughs> Yeah, the Odetta one was nice, that was a tribute to Odetta yeah. two years before she died, and um, wow. it was in Washington, D.C., and it was, again, a tribute show, and it was amazing, because I was on stage performing uh, on violin with her singing This Little Light of Mine, so... That was cool. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. So when do you call it a violin and when do you call it a fiddle? That's it depends the on the style, really. Well, I was raised on Scottish fiddle music, but I also did classical at the same time. I was, you know, studying at school and I went to study classical at the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama in Glasgow. So uh, a lot of my influences, there's a piece I wrote called Commemoration. I guess that's kind of tying in the classical with the traditional. It has both styles in it. So really it depends. If I'm playing traditional folk music, it's a fiddle. <laughs> Classical violin. <laughs> but, but but here in Music City... Fiddle. It's a fiddle. Yeah, it's definitely. a fiddle, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Um, how long have you been coming to the States? Well, that was 2004. That was my first trip okay. to perform with yeah. Pete Seeger. And really, kind of annually after that, to do this, this Scottish week, they used to call Tartan Week. They changed its name to Scotland Week, and I think they've changed it back to Tartan Week. And last year, um, with Fiona Hislop, who's the Minister of Culture, we staged a show at the Country Music Hall of Fame with the Scottish Government. So that was kind of a big deal with Jim Lauderdale and Jack Clement and Rodney Crowell. So I was like introducing them and hosting the show and doing some of my songs, like the song you're gonna, I think you might be playing later called Reaching Out. So. Yeah, so I've been doing lots of fun stuff here. So I decided basically last July that I wanted to come here on a more permanent basis and base myself more here and then go home for shows, if there's ever any shows in Scotland. Like in June, I'm performing with the Symphony Orchestra. Oh, that's neat. The Royal Very Scottish neat. National Orchestra. My piece called the Arbroath Suite, which I've been working on for the past four or five years and is being scored at the moment by a guy called Oliver Serrell, who I studied with. He's a composer and an arranger, and he is arranging it for the Full Symphony Orchestra. Mm, great, <laughs> great stuff. And I want to thank you here publicly on the air for um, playing last Sunday at Rock and Windy B's memorial service. Oh, it was a pleasure. Um, uh, 
Man, it was fantastic. What was the name of that piece? That was the piece I was talking about, Commemoration. Oh, okay, Commemoration, okay. Yes. And it was just a lovely instrumental. Yeah, just uh, a violin piece. And you know, a lot of folks around there at the memorial, who's that, who's that? You know, they wanted <laughs> to know who, who you were. But thank you so much for doing that. It, it was just no lovely. No problem. No, it was, it was a real, real honor to do that. And um, I felt it was nice to do something on the violin. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Something a bit different. Very fitting, very fitting. And your accent, it's yeah. real, folks. This is not <laughs> this made up. This is not up. fake. <laughs> this is real. It's, it's only fake when I say y'all. <laughs> y'all. A Scottish y'all. A Scottish y'all. <laughs> I don't know if there is such a is thing. Is there such a I'll, thing? I'll make it up. You, I'll invent it. <laughs> you'll invent it. Well, it sound, sounds good. <laughs> Speaking of sound, notice how I segue into that. We uh, we need to hear a song you from hear a Laura song? McGee. Yes, we do. What are you going to play for? And live. She's got a, yeah, I got a, a guitar song. here. She was yeah, tuning up a few it. minutes ago. And she is ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'd like to do a couple of new songs, actually. Um, the first one is called 13 Hours. These are songs I'm just getting ready to record fairly soon in Nashville, here Great. in Nashville. So this one's th 13 hours without you is too long. Been counting every minute you've been gone. See you. 